In the amazing world of primates, the least advanced are the prosimians. These include the lemurs, lorises, galagos, and the tarsiers. In the lemurs, we see a resemblance to monkeys, but also an elongated snout and a highly developed sense of smell, not typical of primates. In the tarsier, we see a more flattened face, bringing the eyes into the same plane, just as you would find in the true monkey, but without his larger brain. In fact, each of the tarsier's eyes weighs more than its brain. Nevertheless, modern classification places the tarsiers together with the true monkeys in the suborder Haplorhini. And the lemurs, lorises, and galagos in the suborder Strepsirhini. The true monkeys themselves are split into two groups, the so-called Old World monkeys of Asia and Africa, and the New World Monkeys of the Americas. Old World Monkeys, like this mandrill, tend to have downward-facing nostrils. The baboon, which lives in large troops on the African plain, is another example. None of the Old World Monkeys have prehensile tails, but they tend to be slightly more intelligent as a group than New World Monkeys. Notice the large cranial capacity in this skull from a rhesus macaque. Baboons can be powerful predators as well as eating all sorts of vegetable material. The amazing proboscis monkey of Borneo eats mostly leaves and has a long digestive tract for processing them. Along with his pot belly, the male has an enormous nose. Proboscis monkeys are capable of making tremendous leaps from one mangrove tree to another along the Bornean coast. The macaques are a large primate genus that include the common long-tailed macaque of Southeast Asia and India. This amazing monkey can swim underwater to retrieve fallen fruits and to catch crabs. Its cousin, the rare crested black macaque from the island of Sulawesi, demonstrates social grooming, which is a common trait in primates that serves to strengthen social bonds. New World monkeys have outward-facing nostrils and tend to be a little less intelligent than their Old World cousins. Spider monkeys are an exception. These intelligent monkeys of Central and South America have prehensile tails which help them greatly as they move through the trees looking for fruits and seeds. Another exception to the intelligence rule is the white-faced capuchin monkey. These primates are so smart and trainable that they have been taught to assist paraplegics who are confined to wheelchairs. Capuchin parents live in multi-male, multi-female social groups. This is more frequently observed in New World monkeys than in Old World monkeys. Here we see a parent dipping up water to drink. The owl monkeys from South America form true monogamous pairs. This is also the world's only nocturnal monkey. Here we have the huge eyes of a night-dwelling creature as well as a tendency to hunt down small prey to supplement the fruits, seeds, and leaves in its diet. The howler is a leaf-eating monkey from Central and South America. Males have an enlarged hyoid bone in their throats that acts as a resonating chamber that gives them the loudest call of any land vertebrate in the world. Finally, squirrel monkeys, also from the New World, move about in large troops feeding on fruits and insects. In these squirrel-sized primates, we see the tremendous inquisitiveness and playfulness that demonstrates the high intelligence of primates, just as we see these qualities throughout the primate world.